Here is another one of these crazy cheating stories, but I am going to digress for a second. This is in another country. This guy owns a successful business. His best friend works for him and his best friend is sleeping with his wife. Now, here is where it gets interesting. His best friend also went through a divorce because his wife cheated. This is where I say cheating can cause major collateral damage to multiple families. Oh, it's kind of long. I apologize in advance. Let's go. My wife is 37, I'm 34, and my daughters are 18 and 16. I found out around six months ago that my wayward wife has been having an affair for the last two and a half years with my best friend. I think it started to get physical around two years ago. It was emotional for the first six months or more, maybe even longer, I don't know. I will be divorcing her. I am moving out once everything I need is done which is soon. There is a reason I have not confronted my wayward wife yet. I hate cheating. I go way over the top. It can get really bad. If you knew me, you would think I was crazy. The way I talk about it doesn't matter if someone else is talking about it. If I see it on TV or if I know people who have been through it, like my best friend, I've now realized that the way I have spoken or acted about cheating has affected my daughter so much, especially my oldest. I have been seeing a therapist for just over five months. She has helped me with a lot of things I have bottled up since I was a child. I see a lot of changes in me and I just hope my daughters do too. I can't type out my whole childhood. There is far too much, but I could tell you some and hopefully it's enough to show the reasons I hate cheating so much. So why do I hate cheating so much? Because my mom cheated on my dad with his brother for a very long time and he caught her multiple times and kept taking her back every time she said it was over. I have five siblings. Any of us could be his brother's children. My dad lost his whole family through my mom's affair and my mom's family too. They all lied to him about my mom cheating. They all knew she was. He had enough, but it took him years to decide this and just cut them off completely. And he just got to the point he didn't care. If my mom cheated, even to this day, he doesn't even know if they have stopped seeing each other. And she has never told him the truth, not once. It was heartbreaking watching him cry all the time. But I was a child. How could I help him? I look back and I wish I could have helped somehow. It is one of my biggest regrets. I have cut my mom out of my life since I left home at 16. I only talk to my dad and my siblings. We are a very close family now compared to when we were kids. And I think it has a lot to do with losing our brother to suicide. Not affair related. We don't think. Some things my dad's mom and sister would do. They would bring over notes. This is well before my house had a house phone for my mom from my dad's brother, like times to meet and other things so they wouldn't get caught. At the time, my dad thought they were coming over to see the kids. My dad found out later the real reason and this is when he found out that they were all lying to him and cut them all off. Some things my mom would do. My mom would leave me and my siblings even before I had five siblings. So I was very young when she left us when it first started at home while my dad worked all day and she would go see his brother and then come back before my dad finished work. This went on for years. I wish I had told my dad this when it was happening, but my mom would threaten us if we ever told my dad anything. Our house was getting fixed by the council, so we had to move out temporarily to a new house until our house was fixed. During this time, my mom and my dad's brother would say they would go to our house to decorate, but my dad never knew they were cheating. It would be a while before he caught them. My dad started to work night shifts at work. To this day, I still don't know how my mom convinced him to put locks on our bedroom doors so she could lock us in at night so we couldn't go downstairs. 
when she had my dad's brother over to our house, we could hear the things they were doing. These are some of the things I'm going to write out, but there are a lot more I can remember. Hopefully, this is enough for you to understand why I hate cheating so much. I could be writing for days if I wrote down everything that happened in my childhood. Let's start with me and my wayward wife. I was 16, she was 18. We have known each other since we were young. We were not dating yet though, more like friends with benefits. I was only seeing her at the time and nobody else. I never knew if she was seeing anyone else. I never asked her and it wouldn't have bothered me if I knew she was seeing other people because we were not exclusive. We did start dating when she found out she was pregnant. I asked her if she wanted to be together and she said yes. I found out six months ago that she was seeing someone else when we were 16 and 18 because my oldest daughter is not my child. We have been together for 18 years and married for 14 years. She is a stay at home mom. I have worked since I was 16 to provide for my family. I have worked from home for years now, which made me spend a lot more time with my children. I have my own business and it does well. I have 20 plus people working for me now, including my best friend with whom my wayward wife is having an affair. Here are a few things about my daughters. While I have definitely affected both of my children, my oldest is just like me when it comes to cheating. She hates it. Sometimes I think she hates cheating more than I do. My youngest is not the same as my oldest when it comes to cheating, but I know what I've said will affect her too. Now, I would say I've been a great dad to my children, but not when I've had conversations about cheating. I regret this so much. I wish I could go back and never mention it. I wouldn't always bring it up, but as they got older, they would ask why I didn't talk to my mom and I wouldn't sugarcoat it. I would tell them the truth. After a while, my oldest daughter refused to see her Nana and wouldn't go to my dad's house if my mom was there. The past five months or so, I have been in therapy to help with my issues. I am hoping my daughters will agree to therapy too once I have spoken to them. My daughter is mine. I don't care if we don't share the same DNA, but if you knew me, you would think this was a lie. I have said some horrible things about raising an affair baby, like I would disown them without a second thought and never look back. I could stop loving them without any regrets. I would never raise another man's child and many, many more. The worst thing about this is that I've said these things right in front of my children multiple times. More on this later. I can't take back what I have said, but I do know that I don't think that way. I love my daughter. Nothing will change that and I can't believe the stuff I have said. My children will need therapy because of me for many years probably. I think what I have done to my children is far worse than what their mother has done to us. I love both my children. Nothing has changed. I love them the same as I always have. I just hope my oldest will believe me when I tell her the truth. I might have destroyed my relationship with her for the things I have said. When it comes to their mother, they can decide if they want a relationship with her. I will not tell them to cut her off. That will be their choice if they want to. I would love for them to have a relationship with their mother once we have divorced. I don't want them to end up like me and never talk to their mom again like I don't with mine. Now things about my best friend. His ex-wife was cheating on him about three years ago and me, my wayward wife and my children were there for him when he was going through a divorce. He found out his daughter was not his and she left with her mother and the daughter refused to talk to him. This destroyed him. He loved her. Also, this is where I said a lot of things about his daughter and his ex-wife. Do I wish I could go back and not say these things? Yes, 100%, but I can't. My daughter would hear things I said to him and sometimes join in. My daughter was his daughter's best friend. They would do everything together until all this happened. She cut her friend off and hasn't spoken to her for nearly three years. This is 100% on me. I made my daughter this way. I hate myself so much. Hopefully she will forgive me one day. My best friend works for me. 
So I gave him some time off from work. During this time, my wayward wife and daughter would go around to check on him to make sure he was okay and take him food to make sure he was eating. I didn't go around much since I had to do his work while he was off. This is when my wayward wife started to get closer to him. And after a while, it would only be my wayward wife going around to check on him. I have a lot of evidence of their affair. When it started, the things they said to each other, nude pictures and videos were not easy to read, look at or watch. I have stopped checking them now. There is no point. I know she cheated and she knows my past about how I feel about cheating. So she knows she will get divorced. I don't know who the dad is. I don't think it is my best friend since I never knew him at that time me and my wayward wife got together. But my wayward wife could have since we live close to each other. But if he is the dad, that means they've cheated closer to 18 years or they could have stopped and started again. I don't know. The main reason I haven't confronted my wayward wife for so long is that I needed to show my daughters I love them and whatever their mom did, I wouldn't change how I feel about them, especially my oldest, since I will need to tell her she is not mine. I won't phrase it this way when I speak to her. I just needed to show them I have known about their mom's affair for months and for them to see I've not changed when it comes to them, especially my oldest. She will take this really hard and she will believe I do not love her, which is all my fault because I do love her. I hope this way I can show them I love them and nothing will change how I feel about them. The last six months, we've been spending a lot of time together. We do dad and daughter days and I also do days with them both together. I do hope this is enough to show them that nothing has changed. This is something I've always done since they were young but I have done it more times a week for the last six months. I will talk to my oldest daughter tomorrow when she comes home and my wayward wife is going on holiday with her friends, but I know that is a lie and she is going with my best friend. Once she is gone and I've told both my daughters, I will move all my stuff out and I will be gone before my wayward wife gets back. I will text her that I'm leaving and tell her the divorce papers are in the house for her. I've read a lot of posts on here and I don't want revenge on my wayward wife or best friend. I think leaving them and going without contact is best for everybody. I've got every reason to destroy their lives, but I don't think it will make me feel better and I will not be firing him. I don't even talk to him regarding work and I won't ever have to see him. I have had someone in charge for a while now. I only get involved with our oldest customers. I will be moving two hours away from where I live now and I will be asking my daughters if they want to come with me. I don't think my wayward wife will try to get custody. My kids are 16 and 18. I will make sure to see them a lot if they decide to not come. I will not be kicking my wayward wife out of my house. She can stay in the house until she has a new place to move into. Then maybe I will sell it. My wayward wife will maybe get spousal maintenance. I need to speak to my solicitor about it. It's up to the courts to decide how much she'll get. Once I leave, she'll need to find a solicitor to talk to mine. Like I said, I have read a lot of posts on this site. I know my wayward wife and best friend will keep messaging me to try to explain why they did what they did. But not once have I read on this site that people get the answers they are looking for. It's just excuses. I don't need closure. I have been checked out now for about three months. I haven't really spoken about my wayward wife's affair much in this post, but I don't really care anymore. I only care about my daughters. Nothing else matters. So that's why I will also be changing my phone number once I have left for my new house. Maybe my post seems like I have it all thought out, but that couldn't be farther from the truth. I might be a new member, but I have read this site for six months now. And if I wrote this out six months ago, I would be doing the same as most new people do here and not listening to the advice they're getting from the amazing people here who've gone through the same shit we are. It doesn't matter if it is advice for divorce or to reconcile. I would like to thank those people who commented on people's posts I've read 
and gave them great advice, even though you were not talking directly to me at the time you could have been. I think when we first find out we are in denial and won't let ourselves believe our partners could do this to us, even with evidence in front of our eyes. And for some reason, we think our partners are different from other cheaters. I've read so much on this site that cheaters are so much more alike than we know. It's scary. Even though all affairs are not the same, a cheater is a cheater. And somehow they managed to say exactly the same things. This could backfire though. I'm really scared. I have so many questions that I don't have answers to. What if I've been pushing away from my daughters? What if I've been treating my oldest differently without even realizing it? What if I've been showing more affection to my oldest? Will this make my youngest feel like I love my oldest more than her? What if my youngest wants to live with her mom? Will my oldest cut her sister off? I would not stop my youngest if she wanted to live with her mom. What if my oldest doesn't love me anymore since I'm not her dad? What if they blame me because I'm divorcing their mother? What if they don't want to stay with me? What if they hate me? What if they never forgive me for the way I raised them about cheating? Well, in my opinion, every cheating story is not always cut and dry. This guy discusses his childhood, how he reacts to cheating. We can all say he should have done this, done that. But remember, he is in another country. I wonder how many men on this platform will love another man's child, a fair baby, and call that child his own. Triggering, I know. Until next time.